Hello, my name is Paul, I'm the National Key Account Manager for Rationale Australia. Um, what we're going to do today is uh, general care and maintenance on the Rationale units, um, from the outside of the unit, the inside of the unit, and then just general uh, cleaning and maintenance of the Rationales. So what we're going to look at today is the current unit that you have in place, which is the self-cooking set to five senses. We'll talk about, um, obviously, the outside of the unit first. Rule number one, no scourers at all um, on the outside or the inside of the unit. It is common sense that um, you don't do that and you start to scratch, particularly the inside of the unit and scrub. We'll take the finish off and it'll be harder for the unit to get some immaculate clean that it can do. So the outside of the unit, you'll notice that the door handle goes both ways. The idea of that is that you can slam the door, um, which is good if you've taken a hot tray of food out to walk past, close the door, and then carry on. To access the door, pop it either way, the door will open. The door is double glazed. Um, the reason for that, it retains the heat, the heat inside of the unit. What we can do, um, and I would recommend that this is a daily maintenance thing that you do, is just clean the outside and between the door, so it's look, looking nice and clean at all times for the customers. So, um, when you open the door, there's a latch at the top. You can pop that with your thumb at the bottom and open it up. To clean that, just get a soft cloth, soap and water, just wipe it down. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, hard or, or caustic or anything like that, just a soapy liquid that you wash your hands with in a soft cloth. While you're doing that as well, you'll notice there's a drain that's fixed on the door. Um, you can get again the soft cloth and wipe that out. The reason for that is when you close the door and to close the glass, just push it back into place. Any steam or grease will run down the door. It will run into this drain, down to the corner of the door, into this drip tray, away, and underneath the unit to the drain. You will occasionally have to clean this, and again, it's probably a daily thing. Just get a cloth, wipe that out. So uh, from time to time, that may get blocked with chicken fat. We can actually unclick that, take it out, wash it, and put, put it back in again. Um, above the drip tray, you've got your hand shower, which you can pull out. If you want to pull itself back in, just hold it in place, and you can spray the cold water inside the unit. The reason for that is basically just to rinse the unit out if you need to. Um, however, another big rule is you do not spray cold water onto a hot cabinet. Um, you do not want to damage the inside of the cabinet if it is hot and spray cold water because it will buckle eventually. So that's not something that we want to be doing. Um, you can just rinse that out if there's any grease or uh, food particles on the base of the unit. Next will be the door seal. So the door seal is a very, very important part of the unit. It's keeping all the heat and the steam and your energy inside the cabinet um, from time to time. It is a consumable um, door seal, you will have to change it. What I would recommend that we do after every cook, if you can get in the habit of this, is soft cloth, soapy water. When you take the products out, just give it a quick wipe all the way around. Just like that. That will extend the life of the door seal by 50% straight away. If through time you start to see, see heat and steam escaping, you can take the door seal out and you put a new door seal in. When you get the new door seal, you'll find that there's a little hole right at the bottom. So the hole is always going down to the bottom of the door. To replace it, you pull it out, put the corners in first, followed by the middle, 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 and then the middle of the middles, until you get a nice straight edge. You do not want to start in the corner and work your way down to the bottom because it will get crinkled, and then you'll break the door seal. Another really important part of the unit, and this should be checked at least on a weekly basis, is the air filter. The filter is located under the control panel. Um, take out, once you've filled it, if it is dirty and is it clean, I recommend at least a weekly check of these. Um, easy to do, a couple of thumbs, pop it out, give it a wash, um, just soak in water, not to go through the dishwashers. Um, make sure it is dry, it's vital that when it goes back in, it is dry. And we don't want any moisture getting into the control board. 
there are a couple of different types of filters on the rash now depending on the types of units that you've got, the age of the units, and we'll show you that a little bit later on, on the differences. I would recommend that each store has a replacement, or a couple of replacement filters, um, so they can take one out, wash it, dry it, put the new one in, and rotate it that way. Um, highly recommended that if you are washing the filter, you dry the clip straight back in. You do not want to walk past any rationale unit without the filter. And the reason being, the grease in the kitchen will migrate up inside the unit and it will start to damage the internals. So it's a really important part. You can order spare parts and just have those located in your store just in case you need to replace those. Now, the ground at the outside of the door, again, just get in the habit of wiping the door seal down and wiping around the edge of the door seal just to keep the unit nice and clean. The control panel as well, soft cloth, and just wipe it down. Nothing scratchy, nothing abrasive at any stage. Another important, uh, important part that's generally missed is actually the top of the rationale units, is to at least weekly give those a clean as well. So what happens obviously is that it's the, a part of the unit that's out of sight, out of mind, just give that a wipe. What actually happens there, the exhaust are at the back, and the, there's a little bit of intake of air that goes into the unit, so we don't want any um, dirty air or grease, again, being taken into the unit. So give that a wipe down, and if you can, don't store anything on top of the rationales at any stage. When we're talking about everything I've just talked about, it's really important that you make sure um, that the unit is off, physically off, and cool. Again, it's common sense, but you don't want to be wiping the inside of this after you've just done the cook. So let the unit cool down, wipe it down when it's nice and cool, and then you can carry on um, cooking after that. If you are sticking to the correct cleaning uh, programs and ind indicators, behind that baffle plate should be nice and clean. However, if you're not, I would still be checking it on a weekly basis. Open it up, have a look inside, and what tends to happen is the chicken fat will build and build and build, and it will turn into calcium. It's like a black hole. If it gets to that stage, stage, the unit should be off. Take it out, then give it a slightly stronger clean, and then that will get rid of that. Um, if you don't do that, there's a risk that you could damage the inside of the unit through time. Also, inside the cabinet, you've got a drain, drain cap. If that is missing, replace it. Um, in the older units, on my right here, it's a screw type. Make sure it's in at all times. It isn't a garbage disposal. Don't put things down there because it will block up the unit and it will flow back. Um, this particular one you can pop out, so you just dip that out. But make sure it's in place. If there are any, are any food solids after we clean in there, again, don't flush them down there. Take them out, preferably before you do a clean. Um, if not, just leave them in there, take them out at the end. Internal lights inside. Um, again, that's something that should be looked at during the plan maintenance, so I would recommend that every six months all the rationales in the store um, will have a plan maintenance schedule. You can organise that through the Concatter service line. So in regards to plan maintenance um, of the rationale units, we sign up with the Concatter service team. Every six months um, there will be an alert on our internal diaries. Our technicians will contact the sites and come out and do plan maintenance across all of your rationales and they can even do plan maintenance on all the other equipment in the kitchen as well. But in regards to the rationale unit, the idea is that um, you've invested a lot of money in this equipment, it's like a car. Um, if you don't service your car, you can't expect it to last three to four years without breaking down. Um, these units make you a lot of money and I would highly recommend that you look after them. So, get the technicians out every six months and what they will do is they'll check the general care and maintenance of the units. So they'll go from the, the filters that come with the units, the water filters, they'll check those and replace those if need be. They'll check the door seals, they'll check that the door is actually tight and sealed correctly. If you notice steam and heat escaping out of the door, you're losing energy, you're going to affect the cook, the results, the food. Um, it's time to start thinking about getting a te technician out to clean the unit and tighten up door if required, replace the seals and check the general care of the units. At the same time they'll also check the filters but what we've already discussed is that you check these in the store every day anyway or every week at least. 
This particular unit isn't 100% clean. If it was 100% clean, it would look like a mirror finish. That's the way you want the life of the unit all of the time. If you're sticking to the recommended cleans, you will have that finish for the life of the unit. In regards to cleaning, um, highly recommended that uh, the units are cleaned every day. Um, depending on use, you can do an interim clean during the day. So if you have an extremely busy day and you've got a, a spare 40 minutes where it's quiet in time, really vital. Um, is that you're using the correct tablets for the correct model of rationale that is in your system. If you see a unit and it's got a care control sticker, or even better, a draw, the only type of blue tablets that you use are these. Okay, these are dual purpose, they're care controls, they're a descale solution, and they're a rinse agent. Blue tablets, which are square, go into the blue draw, which is square. It's the easiest way to remember. In regards to the actual cleaning, all rationale um, units, the self-cleaning, have the red tablet. These go inside the, the cabinet, inside the fan, there's a basket, you put those the required amount, which the screen will show you, inside. We put the blue tablets, which is show you on the screen again, in here, so if it's asking for one, it's not one tablet, it's one packet. We go in here, the correct amount of clean tablets go inside the basket, inside the fan. You close the door, you press start clean and it will clean. It will clean, wash, dry and turn itself off. The idea is that you do this overnight so you're not having any downtime during the day. These types of tablets are for units which are pre-care control. If you've got any rationales, self-cooking centres that haven't got the drawer, these are the rinse aid tablets which go inside the basket, followed by the red tablets on top. What we don't want to happen is the wrong tablet on the, in the wrong units because it will create headaches and you will have service calls. You can run the cleaning at the end of the day um, with the desired level of clean that um, the unit is asking for. If you're in any doubt, um, a light clean is probably sufficient for most of the cleans. Um, if you haven't done a clean for a while, the unit will indicate on the screen. It will ask you for the correct level, so if it, if it is asking for a medium clean or a heavy clean or strong, just go to the lower one first and put the recommended amount of tablets in. The longer you leave the clean, the more tablets you're going to do. So recommended that you do this um, continually, a light clean, you'll actually save some money on the tablets.